Sometimes stray hairs can occur in a photo. It's perfectly natural, but removing these stray hairs can help make a more effective photograph. I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so there's a couple different ways to do this. Basically, what I'm going to do is remove stray hairs from the background. Now, since uh, our subject here, Miss Cassandra Leach, has a uh, very solid uh, area behind her and it's out of focus, this is going to be really easy. Um, but the same basic techniques apply. It's just if the de background becomes more detailed, you have to become more, um, uh, you have to be a little more careful. So, first, I'm going to use the clone stamp tool. All you have to do is make the brush a little bigger. Alt click on the area around it. Oh, by the way, create a new layer. Command and Control Shift N, and use this layer to sample. That way, it's nothing. That way, you're not permanently affecting anything on the image. And very simply, just brush in. Make sure you sample near the exact areas. That way any differentials in lighting aren't noticed. We'll go over here. And you can do it like that. You also can do it with another tool. The healing brush tool. Make it nice and big. Make sure your source is sampled. And very simply click. Click and drag, click and drag. And it'll fill it in for you. It won't do it perfectly, though. That's why I uh, definitely recommend the clone stamp tool, because you have a lot more control over it. And that's really all there is to it. It's a really simple technique. And it's meant to be quick and easy. All right, guys, I hope this has been a helpful tutorial for you. If you have any questions or requests regarding touch-ups and enhancements with Photoshop, please send me an email to requests at mahalo.com. And also, please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe below. Thanks.